Hi everybody, it's Paula and I'm going to bake a Heath Bar Coffee Cake. My ingredients are half cup of butter at room temperature or softened, two cups of flour, one cup of brown sugar, a half cup of white sugar, a cup of buttermilk, one teaspoon of baking soda, one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and this is about two cups of Heath Bits. And I'm going to use half for the batter and half for the topping. So I'll be right back with you to get it started. I'm going to try and use these little spring form pans to put the coffee cake in. I'll have to decide how much in each one. I might only have to use two of them. But if you're baking it, you can put it in a 9 by 13 inch pan. So let's get this started. Alright, first I'm going to add my two cups of flour, my butter, my sugars, I'm going to blend that. If something's not working, try to fix it, correct? <laughs> That's my oven I have preheating to 350 degrees. Alright, I think this is going to have to do for now. I want to take a half cup of this mixture and put it in a separate bowl and set that aside. Now, get my buttermilk, my egg, baking soda, vanilla extract and half the Heath Bar bits. Okay, let's add this. I really wish I would have sifted this in there. My egg. My vanilla. And I use that cooking spray that has the flour built into it or blended into it. My recess bit. Stir them in together. Or mix it with my hands. That's what they're for. The best tools in the world. You probably use this in those big jumbo muffin cakes. Jumbo cookie, jumbo cupcake thingies. All right, now let's get this. And this is what I was going to do when I do the opposite. All right. All right. I appreciate everybody that's been watching my latest videos. 
I'm starting all over with new batches. If you guys have any requests, any ideas of what I could make, any videos you'd like to see me try to make, put them in the comments below and I will give it a try. I'm surprised this didn't have cinnamon in it. I probably could have added some. I got three of these. A uh, kitchen supply store was going out of business. And I got three of these for, I think, $2.50, $2.50. Which isn't bad because I think it's like two. $2.50 maybe for one or maybe a little bit more. So, all right. These are going to go into a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. I'll be ahead. I will bring you back for it. All right. Let's see how these come out. The top part, I should have put this a little bit less of the stuff on it. And I could have put like, parchment paper on the bottom of that. Here's the inside of it. Take a little piece of it. Mmm, it does taste good though. It does. Almost like a nut cake without the nuts. Mmm. All right, less topping and probably more brown sugar, more butter, but not bad. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching.